Okay. So you try to speak English today or in Vietnamese? Oh, we, I can do both. Um, uh, không biết là mọi người bữa nay học bữa thứ mấy. No, no, try, à? try to speak English, yeah, because okay. some, from now on we speak English. Yeah. But if something wrong or it's very complicated to explain, okay. so you may switch to Vietnamese too for them. Yeah, but from now on we try to speak in English. Okay, sounds okay. good. I can do that. <laughs> yes. It's better. Okay, let me know when we can start. Um, so that mm. let's see. We will start on time. Yeah? So now we have six minutes to go. Okay. So in America, or any class that usually has some ice breaker, so it kind of like some warm up activity, just a little bit, one or two minutes, so that we get to know each other. I am really. I'm, I need to apologize ahead that we probably won't be able to get to know all of you guys, but we'll uh, we'll pick some number, some people that I see here, so that we can talk. I want to hear you guys as much as I can. Mm -hmm. I miss students. I miss uh hearing people. <sighs> Let's see. Just ask them to introduce themselves yeah. because yeah. usually I've practiced it many times in the class. Right, right. Don't be shy guys. <laughs> um here I was I was a student myself and a uh, long time ago. Let's see. How about we can start with uh, me first. So everyone saw my name there. Um it's funny because in, in America they look at my name and they keep you know asking Question, really, that's your name? Because here, the last name and this, the first name are usually different. But my name is make it simple because first and last name are the same. So whenever they ask me to spell my name, I only spell once. I said the second ones are the same. The second fact, fun fact is that people cannot pronounce win in America correctly. So they call me win-win. So you yeah, guys heard the term win-win situation, like 50-50, you win and you lose. So people really like that joke when I introduce myself. Okay, so let's start with some of you guys. Tell me one fun fact about you, anything. Okay, today is uh, the 12th, December, December 9th. 12 plus 9 will be 21. Can I uh, have... You introduce yourself, uh, 21, uh, Lei Min Ding. Yeah. Hello. Hello, Miss Mu, and hello, everyone in the class. Yeah. Um, um, uh, my name is Lei Min Ding, and uh, I'm from um, Saigon. I'm mm -hmm. currently uh, studying uh, the sixth year, a uh, sixth year student at uh, Phạm Ngọc Thạch Medical uh -huh. School. Yeah. Okay, cool. I met a lot of uh, Phạm Ngọc Thạch uh, medical students. Well, actually, they already a doctor and they pursue in US and OE. Wow. You guys are very talented. Wow. Yes. Thank yeah. you. Welcome to yeah. the class. Hope yeah. to hear you more during the lecture. Okay. Yeah. Let's start with uh, another number. Um, today is 20, uh, also the year of 2020. So, can I have Let's see, do we have 2022 today or 20? Let me see. Yeah, the screen doesn't show all of you guys, so I don't know. <laughs> okay, let's start number one then. Everyone like to start with number one? I like number one. Bùi Hương Ngọc. Hello, my name is Bùi Hương Ngọc. I am a five year student, uh, medical student. In Hanoi. Uh, in Hanoi? Yes. Okay. Yeah, okay. I've never been to Hanoi. Tell me one thing that, that's special about Hanoi this season. Is it very cold there? Yes. <laughs> Today is very cold. Oh, okay. But I guess, is there anything special during this season when it has come in? Well, if you leave Hanoi, what will you miss most about Hanoi during this time? Um, uh, I think it's many uh, delicious foods. Okay, I love food. Okay, who else did in there? <laughs> okay, thank you so much for coming. Uh, and I hope you to hear you again during our 
uh, lecture. Okay. All right. Thank you. Oh, we have more people joining. Ooh, okay. I'm so happy about that. All right. We have a, a few more minutes. Let's see. Um, what number? I like number. Let's see. Mm, okay. How about 62? Fan Feng Nam You have a black and white, so it's pretty like standing now. <laughs> Um, I have just graduated from Hanoi Medical University uh, and uh, now I'm uh, practicing to get my license in general practitioner. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, a fun fact about, my, about myself is my name. Uh, most of people when hear uh, my name say it's a name for men. Oh, because yeah. Yes, the the uh, word uh, van may make people think that uh, is uh, is for men, not for women. Yeah. Oh, that's true. I guess you always get the surprising look whenever they call your name up to say something. Correct. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Thanks so much again for attending uh, here today with us, and hope you enjoy the lesson. Okay. Yeah. Thank you so much. All right. Okay, I want people volunteer, you know, um, the more I hear you guys, I would love to know people where you guys on from. So I got someone from Hanoi, from, from anyone from Hue, because I graduated from Hue University. Uh, no one from Hue Medical, Hue University of Medicine and Pharmacy. All right, but I know that the number, uh, what do we call, um, the number in the in the back of the vehicle, the model one is uh, for, or the area or in, in America we call zip code, but in Vietnam, I guess for, for her it would be 75. Jung Vick Lin, are you here? You're able to unmute yourself and introduce? Uh, let's know a little bit about you. Uh, 75, I saw he said, okay. Oh, he's not here. Wow. Fun fact, I grew up in, from, I grew up in uh, Yalai and the number for that, that province is 81. I saw 81 to join. Let's see. Okay. <laughs> 91. Is 91 here? Okay. Vũ Hồng Nhung. Oh, she connected. Okay, maybe I'll get back to you then. Okay, how about I ask, I asked already if anyone volunteered to ask any question not related to our lesson today. Yeah, anything about America, anything about me, anything about Andin, or you can ask anyone look, sounds, look like have a beautiful face that you like to know. Come on. <laughs> I, have, I have a question for you. Okay, uh, who you are then? What number then? <laughs> I'm 62. Okay, 62. Is there anywhere that we can see someone who's speaking? I want to see your face. Oh, Anamfu. Okay. Uh, you say you graduated from Hue Medical mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. University. Yeah, and uh, can you uh, share about your journey from uh, an uh, a medical student in Vietnam to a doctor in America? Well, that's that quite a journey, huh? Because I graduate, I'm very old. I graduated in 2012. And if you guys go back to the MD forum, I probably share, there was some video that I, I shared very detailed and lengthy story about how I became a doctor here, of a resident here. But briefly, I graduated um, in Vietnam uh, in 2012. I went to Saigon and worked there for 18 months um, as a general practic uh, practitioner. Uh, and then I left Vietnam, studied for USMOE. Well, uh, so it took a long time for me to get where I am today. I matched into internal medicine residency in Florida uh, last year. So I'm currently uh, PGY2 or postgraduate year uh, second. So that's how we usually call, or you can call me a physic, um, you know, so that the patient can know that I'm not just medical students. So people 
giving me the title would be, you know, resident physician. So that if you guys see that title, it means a physician in training. And if you see me PG White too, it means I'm in second year, so I have one more year to go before I graduate. Okay. If anything, um, if you're more interested in um, becoming, um, get into residency in the US, uh, in, on, on VietMD, I uh, have many other sections before I talk about that and a lot of other people who before me or match the same year with me share ex the experience. But you can always, you know, DM me or I can provide my email later on. I can answer you uh, like personally. But today just focus on English, okay? Okay. All right, so uh, who knows that um, you guys know what lecture was the topic today about? SC40, Nguyễn Thị Dung. Hello teacher, hello um, everyone in our class. My mm -hmm. full name is Nguyễn Thị Dung. Uh, I'm graduate um, Vietnam Military Medical University. Um, in uh, 2018, mm -hmm. uh, after graduating my university, I'm uh, working. I'm working. Uh, I I have a um, work in um, uh, Hong Kong General Hospital. Mm -hmm. I'm a pediatrician. A oh, pediatrician. I love kids, but I chose not to become a pediatrician because I found it really hard to work as a pediatrician. Okay, so you happen to know what we're going to talk about today? Um, uh, I'm sorry, um, <laughs> you asked me again. Okay. okay, do you happen to know what we're going to talk about today? Um, um, today is the, the first uh, session about cardiology uh, and uh, I have a Ming um, um, Do teacher uh, gives um, some advice um, uh -huh. to have uh, uh, some question to you. So okay. I, uh, <laughs> and, uh, um, but uh, I, I'm in my hospital, I often uh, uh, see about in Vietnam, um, uh, children uh, of, uh, often uh, uh, have uh, some uh, busy about respiratory system. Uh, mm. So my uh, uh, my I I have a more um, vocabulary uh, or medical terms in okay. uh, um, most. Uh, respiratory system, more than cardiology, uh, okay. but uh, I, 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 I have, I, I will try uh, to okay. uh, can, uh, uh, pray, uh, raise my hand to ask uh, you some question in, uh, in this class. Very good, very good. Don't worry because uh, I pick this topic because I am extremely interested in cardiology. Okay, so it means I don't have as many vocabularies as you in terms of respiratory system. So you can teach me about, you know, respiratory symptoms then. Okay, so you mentioned that cardiology, can you give me the definition of what is it about? Let's see, a patient asks you, mm, what's the cardiology mean? Uh, um, card Cardiology uh, is uh, containing uh, uh, about uh, some uh, a problem, uh, some uh, problem about uh, my heart and my uh, fist vessel. Okay, uh, right. Very good, very good. And why did you know so? Did they, you just learn by heart? and translate it from English to Vietnamese? Or how do you have any method to, to remember what it is? Uh, um, in the last session, uh, mm -hmm. Mr. Um, Dean uh, uh -huh. uh, uh, teased me that uh, we, we, we can uh, suppress 
uh, cardiologist uh, into uh, um, uh, three, uh, uh, two, two, two parts. Uh -huh. Cardi, cardi, or in Bruce words, it means um, heart uh, and uh, heart and uh, a vessel. And uh, mm. logis, it mean uh, uh, um, Does it mean study? Study. Yes. Okay. I look at Dr. Dean, uh, Mr. Dean face and he, and he seemed look happy. I mean, seem happy. So he happy about your answer. It mean you listen to what he taught. That's very good. So again, so uh, ology, is there anything that relate to, it, it means a study, like you guys know biology, um, what else? Um, I try to think of another biology right now. Um, cytology. A study about the cell, right? Okay, so we may play a little game later on. Okay, but you was right. Uh, the cardio is means heart. Okay, so uh, but today our topic a little bit expanding to like you said uh, in Vietnamese is mean uh, is the disease about the heart, the vessels itself. So the the general term for it, which I don't use, uh, ology. Um, in this case, I will call today is uh, the section about cardiovascular disease or ca cardiovascular system. Okay, so easy cardiovascular is means something belong to um, vessel and disease. You guys know disease means and uh, our system in our body, the organs um, come together and, and to, to do a function and that what they call system. I don't know if a previous section um, had mentioned that, um, but and the, is there any way um, I can share my screen though, right? I can share my screen uh, for the handout. I'll make, okay. So like I mentioned today, this it would be the session uh, five um, is about cardiovascular system. Um, before we start, I just want to briefly want you guys to know that um, really hope because uh, I know this is the beginning level. So um, I won't expect you guys, you know, know a lot or um, there's a, a much more like higher level um, communication in English regarding this topic. Um, but um, at least I want you to familiar with um, the words or the terminology that we use in this system is mean including how what what they mean or define uh, their um, meaning or and also spell the word part um, that used to create the term in that system. Um, so for me, the best way to learn terminal medical terminology in any system is just break it down like. Um, uh, the previous one of our, uh, you know, um, our student just just uh, told us, right? We break it down, we divide on um, them. But um, here, what I presenting is not all the the medical terminology in this system. I try my best just to um, introduce you guys to very popular or common uh, words that we use in in practice where I uh, go to work every day and we talk about them and it's in the America um, that we use, but probably if using, you know, um, in any kind of other country too. And and after, and, and uh, the medical terminology will basically in those topics, like subtopics would be size symptoms is a very basic one. And then from size and symptom, I can introduce you guys to the diseases, some uh, procedure that common in this system, and the treatments, and uh, also some some devices that you may hear often when they discuss with patient uh, within um, this scope of uh, you know um, system. Okay. At the end, it, we hope that uh, you know you guys can uh, join me to practice uh, just a one or two minute case that uh, that kind of like about um, the symptoms. Um, then with the diagnosis maybe related to cardiovascular system. All right, everyone good and ready? Okay. 
Okay, so um, as I discussed before, um, the cardiovascular system it doesn't, um, it's not uh, only include the heart, it's right here, right? But it also um, included um, the vessels. So we, we talk about blood vessels that we often, uh, it divided into type of vessels is arteries and veins. Um, but what connecting between arteries and veins could be capillaries, right? And, um, and uh, so that what we call a cardiovascular uh, system. So here we are, we have uh, some, um, what we call a prefix that may present what I just mentioned um, to re refer those structures, right? We have uh, cardio, or sometimes, sometimes in some word, you may not see cardio, but just card. And then um, along the line, that give you more uh, example, but so, just started, you know, uh, get familiar with these prefix or um, the word part and that you may see in, um, in other words. So, so that, you know, at least you should, can guess, let's see if a word have the cardi or, card, or just the cardio, then you, you may guess in your mind that, okay, this may be, this word may be referring something to the heart. Okay, so that's heart. And then en enzio, or enzy or vasal is it just referred to the blood vessel in general. And then arteries, of course, it is easy. They just, they just uh, you know, remove the, the end um, syllables of this uh, now. They put artery or arterial um, in, to, to, uh, to make it to, you know, um, combine with other part. So that, um, let's, for example, it art, you know, they may uh, refer to um, arterial grams, stuff like that. Um, again, and then capillaries, it make it even e easier. They just uh, take the, you know, capil or capillo and uh, to refer capillaries. For the vein, the easy one and easy to remember. So you see the vein right here, uh, E-V-E-I-N-S, uh, right? But when they make it become like a prefix, they will do V E N, uh, but not I in the middle, but they can use O after the end to connect with the other one. Let's say it like venogram. And I, you guys can see those uh, words later. Um, but another word is harder to see, but um, they can use it like a flap, like phlebotomist is the, I can teach you guys what it means later, but it also refer to vein. Okay, um, for the blood itself, uh, the blood itself is uh, the liquid inside of the vessel, right? So then uh, I, I, heard, I, I hope that you guys are familiar with this. So when they talk about him, hemo, hema, uh, it will be uh, referring to um, blood, okay? Uh, a little bit harder after we know about the structure, then we, uh, we try to learn, you know, you guys can see the blue words right here, um, that usually at the end of a word, when they talk about, um, you know, some structure, some symptoms, um, but they will use the word cardia. Um, cardia means heart condition. So whatever go before it, it, it might, you know, referring to some condition that have to be, do with the heart, okay? And uh, this word is not really, not, not necessarily related to cardiovascular uh, symptoms or disease itself, but is, um, but is, uh, one, is uh, one of the devices to take your blood pressure, the manometer. Um, and then if you see um, the O-L-E here, it means it's small. So let's try to combine the, the artery only. It means it's, mean, it's a very small uh, arteries, okay? And then, you know, the word pressure is mean is just to press down. And, and you also see this word at the end and that can combine with one of these is a spasm. Spasm is um, the involuntary, involuntary muscle contraction. Um, so if I say vasospasm, it means 
is the involuntary uh, contraction of the muscle um, of the of the of the arteries. Okay. Are you guys still can hear me well? Okay. All right, because I see low system users. Okay. Yes, I can hear clearly. Yeah. All right. Okay. All right. Um, maybe because of the system, I hope it now. I like to see. Okay. Um, all right. So the next one is look like a lot, but let me just uh, try to make it bigger. And if you guys have a handout. You can download and look at you know your screen. It's not you don't need to look at my screen if you don't see it uh, well. Okay, so um, I will pick up someone to uh, to add few questions. Let me see how I get back there. Yeah. Um, I want to see people though. Let's see. Let's see. Uh, you okay. just uh, stop sharing, uh, Doctor Nguyen. Oh, I stopped sharing. Okay. Yeah, you, so you can see every people. Otherwise, you couldn't see any. <laughs> oh, okay. No, are you guys still seeing my screen right now? Yeah, we see it. Okay, but I can see you guys. Just a few people here. At the, I can see it. I can call the the number then. Okay. All right. So sorry, guys. <laughs> I don't know why I got disconnected, but um, there's some there's some technical issues here. And thank you for your uh, patience. Let's see. Can ev can everyone can hear me? Okay. Uh, we hear you. <laughs> okay. 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 I'm here. I'm now. I'm not getting lost anymore. Yeah, all right. I mean, it, maybe it'd be better if you can share your screen because my computer is kind of low on storage somehow. So it will kick me out of the Zoom. I can use your screen. If you, can you share your screen? So that is, yeah, that's better. That's much better. <laughs> yeah, 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 that's true. So, so that I can hear. And um, let's see, let me just get back where I am. Okay, so uh, the next page, please. So uh, first, we obviously when we talk about the heart, we need to know what parts of it, what the people are talking about, right? Um, go up a little bit, and if that's gonna be okay, thank you. Okay, so we're talking about the heart. Do you see the... The picture says is all because I mean, um, Andin is much more experienced than me. So his his picture or his his um, handout much larger than mine. Okay, that works. Okay, so so we're gonna play a game. I'm gonna bore. I'm not gonna bore you guys out just by you know explaining the words and it's hard to understand. But I want to hear you guys as much as we can. I can. So as I um, tell you guys earlier, um, the way to, the best way to understand a terminology or say it right would be break the word into syllable, into into group. You know, not just one or two syllable, but into part. So as let's say let's let's um, start with uh, start with one word, and then I'll let you guys go through uh, all of them. Uh, you know, um, to hear from you. Um, so let's say this word, the black word is the word that we're going to learn and then and on there a group of like a syllable or symbols that I don't know what we call it, but it's not IPA. So uh, keep in mind, it's not IPA, the international phonetic um, things for, for English pronunciation. Um, but what it means, I found it easier for you to learn how to say it right. So you see um, it's set end. So you see the endocardium here, they said they, they have E-N and then you have to pronounce it. You have to say it N and then D-O, you say it DO, right? And then you have a cardio. So remember we talk about C-R-D-I, 
it's not at the beginning but the part of the word is mean no matter what the word means you may not know this word before but you know that it talk about the heart correct so so it's mean the card and then we have a di so we have to say it yeah, so it's called d it's easy right because just like in vietnamese d and then the second one uh, the last one will be the two syllable go together so you to m so we call um okay so you, you guys notice that the car okay a r is capitalized you know if capital is bigger than the other one is mean where you need to put your stress on that so you know when we talk about medical english when back in several years ago when i study medical english i even now sometimes i say the word i don't i don't pay attention so much to the stress but when you hear from the native speakers they they, they, they make it sound very nice just like they singing a, a word or song um, by put the stress at the right place. It's not just in medical English, but it's also in you know a conversation, you know English too. So let's say in this word, um, you can see um, in the box um, they they break it down into three parts to explaining the meaning of it. So endo is mean the innermost or within. And then cardio, like we we learned about it at the beginning, is mean hard. The um is mean it's just a structure or a period of time. So, but in this case, we're talking about structure, so it's mean a structure. So basically, you can define a word. Let's say I don't know anything about medical illness, but after what I'm telling you guys, we can we can define it. It's mean it's a structure uh, that referring to the innermost part of the heart okay so we don't know what it is but we don't know even you don't know medicine you know the word that means. is all right everyone get it okay so that's that how we're going to do it so i would expect each of you would try to read the word based on the word the black word um, with bold based on what they instructed you guys with the with the stress and then explain it to me what it means based on the blue um, um, blue words or blue part um, that is explaining the, the meaning. Okay, all right, let's try the second one. Let me just call someone else. Mm, I saw 77 like right below me. Can you help me with this? Yeah, hello teacher. Okay, you can call me Dr. Nguyen. <laughs> I'm not a teacher, okay. 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 Uh, so uh, the word uh, I, I can spell peri is padium. Mm -hmm. And peri is mean that the around, uh, some, around something. Mm -hmm. And padio is belong to the heart. Okay. And the um is the structure so uh, the word mean pericardium is mean that the structure around the heart okay so yeah correct like very good good job so see that how we can do it but just based on by just based on looking in at the oh maybe she lost again <laughs> yeah it's... So just waiting uh, for another one. Maybe I, I I replace her. So somebody else. I I could I couldn't see any uh, people here. So now the next one. Mm, Twenty one. The next one. Yeah. Okay. Good. Next one. Okay. So the next word is pericardial. So peri means around, cardio means heart, and io mean pertaining to. So pericardio means something pertaining to around the heart. Mm -hmm. Is it right? That's correct, yeah. Thank you. Pericardio is adjective, adjective of the pericardium. Huh? Yes. Okay, next one, you're very good, thanks. Okay. Next one, um, let me call someone. Just keep going. 
Okay. All right. Uh, this is very easy. Uh, let me get someone. I, I want a lucky number today. Mm. <laughs> okay. I have. It's for me. Okay. Whoever, yeah. whoever yeah. just pick up. Yeah. Okay. It's Say it. My myocardium. Okay. okay. What number you are? Uh, I'm uh, sixty one. Okay, sixty one. Okay, good. Um, myocardium. Myo. Okay. Uh, meaning uh, is mean mask. Uh, cardio is meaning heart. And okay. Patio part of the thumb or stuck. Mm -hmm. But in this uh, word, I think it's a uh, stuck. So myocardium is a uh, support of the heart. Okay, That's fantastic. So see, you just know that what it means, right? Myo, myocardium, right? You, we can say it is myocardium, okay? So we stress at the car again. Um, and again, the next word that kind of like, uh, so after two, uh, uh, based on the pericardial and pericardial, um, pericardial and peri pericardial, you guys kind of know the rule here. The, the um is mean the structure, but the or is mean uh, pertaining. So when, when something that they mentioned pertaining or belonging to is an, an, uh, an adjective, adjective, okay? But the um is a structure, it mean is a noun. So as the very basic English um, grammar that, you know, uh, an adjective needs a noun, so, so it means the myocardial will never stand alone by itself. It needs a now be, be after it to make a complete word phrase. All right. And, and then we're going to have some practice uh, regarding that. But let's go. Let's move on to the other part of the heart. So we talk about the outside of the heart, the inner innermost of the heart, the outermost of the heart, and the, the middle is mean the muscle, the big junk right there. Okay, so let's start with um, the, the, the part inside of the heart. Um, who else? Let's see. Mm, I only see a few numbers here. And, and, and Dean or and Ming can call it for me if you guys see other number. <laughs> I don't want to be a bad cop here, cop here. Because if I move, my screen may stop. Get as many students that we can. <laughs> Come on, or anyone volunteer? So that we can finish so, early and you so guys can see. Right? <clears throat> yeah, yeah, absolutely. Try it. Oh, actually, I you just as it from the full screen. Today, my question is a little bit difficult to hear. Okay. But, okay. From the church of the heart, we have HM. You see, belong to the uh -huh. HM. <clears throat> and we have ventricular and ventricular. Uh -huh. so, okay. So when you talk about the heart, um, the mm -hmm. people would think of right away will be um, the chambers in the heart, right? Yes. And you just, okay. So can you say it again for me? What are those chambers? Okay. So the heart has four chambers two atrium and two ventricle. So, uh -huh. yeah. yeah, and it's uh, separated by the septum. Uh-huh. Yeah, that's Good. I know. Yeah. Okay. Um, so the, how many ventricles that we have in the heart? We have two ventricles and two atrium. Okay, let's try it again. Two ventricles. Because ventricle. Okay, we, we have an S at the end, right? So yeah. two ventricles. You make it a Z um, at the end. All right. And you can say it again. Um the we have two of the heart has two ventricles separated by what? The heart have two ventricles and Separated by the septum, by the septum. Okay. 
Good, good, good. Thank you. All right, let's move on. That's the, the lower part of the heart. How about the upper part? Mm, can we have 58? Yang Fan. Can you tell us what, what up there of the heart? What do we have? Sorry, I can't see. Oh, and, and then can you, you uh, help me? I think there's, oh, can you hear me well? Mm, oh, yes. Okay. So, which so one? I want you to say, okay. I, my question for you is, what are the structures above the ventricles inside of the heart? Um, you can look at the, the diagram there. Ventricle? Uh-huh. Sorry, I don't know. Okay. <laughs> What's up there? The two little things up there above the ventricles. Teacher? Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 25. Yes. Okay. We are, uh, we are two a cheerm. A cheerm. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. One side, left a cheerm and right a cheerm. Mm -hmm. So you guys see here um, the way that they do. So, so like for ventricles, uh, that I'd say that we have two ventricles, but for atrium, we have so we have um we have a one atria, but when you use two, you don't say atrius. You don't put s at the end of the a because the atria is mean just one, but the plural nouns of it would be atrium. All atrium. right. So yeah. So the better way to describe it would be we have left uh, atria and right atria. Um, but both of them would be, um, so we have two atrium, okay? They separate by uh, atrial septum. So as you can see atrial is, um, is A, P, O. So atrial is- I mm -hmm. hear, yes. Yeah. So you use, see, this is a one of the example. So because atrial is an adjective, so it cannot stand so long. It cannot stand along. So then it needs a, a nouns ap, after it to, you know, to supply or to um, make it become a meaning. So you said you said atrial septum, but you don't say atrium septum because they both nouns. So we, we need an adjective and a noun. So atrial septum. Okay. So who can tell me uh, the next one? The last one. Okay. Let me see, can I have 82 volt? Okay. Yeah, the last okay. one. Mm -hmm. um, I picked. Okay, apex. I pick her. So P E K X, so apex, okay. And then um, the adjective of uh, apex e, can you can you say it to us? Where is apical? A, so apical. Okay, so we apical. stress at the beginning. Okay, so and then explain. Can you explain it to me? What does it mean? Yeah, apic means uh, apex, and air means uh, pertaining to. Okay. But also um, apex mean the tip. So you don't yeah. know apex what it mean in, when they talk about the heart, but you know that is a structure at the tip of the heart, right? So it basically um, is right there. Uh, well, well, and Dean can, can point it out to you guys. So that the, the apex, okay. So um, is, there's a one word that is not there on the chart, but I can, I can tell you guys that the opposite of the apex would be the, the base, which means the upper part. Um, it's weird when they say it's base because normally when we think about base, it's mean at the bottom, but um, the base of the heart is basically where, you know, on, lot, on the lot vessels coming out. So it's where um, it, what it's called. Okay, so let's move to, 
um, you know, um, more structures inside of the heart. Okay, I'm gonna pick up someone else. Did I call 80? 80, let me see, 40. Oh, I, I think I called 40 already. Okay, okay, that's okay. We're in the young, huh? 40. Can you tell me what it is um, down there? Uh, the next words, please. Give me, um, say, yeah. Uh, okay, um, let's move to the, the other structure on the third column of the table. Start with, um, mm -hmm. okay, the first word of the third column. Uh, van, van, van. Okay, you, you see the U V A L V, so vow. Okay, they have an L in the middle, so we pronounce it vow. Okay, so is it a noun or is it an adjective? Can you guess? Vavular. Yes. Okay, so vavular. Um, where does it stress? It stress at the first word, right? The first syllable. So vow, vavular. Okay, so what does it mean? What is it talking about? Uh, it's, it's, uh, um, it's, it is suppressed um, atom and uh, um, ben, 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 uh, it's suppressed atom and uh, um, uh, okay, and um, ben, ben, um, is suppressed atom and uh, uh, ventricle. Um, mm. It's the uh, in uh, um, we have uh, two valves in left uh, uh, in the left of uh, the heart is um, mm, mm, the left is a uh, mitral valves and the right side of the heart is a uh, because this vowel. Okay, very good. Uh, that's good. That's good for, for beginning. Um, let me pick another one. Try to introduce to us what the structural uh, name vowels mean. Okay, let me just pick, uh, how about um, 68? His name is Zhang Hong Wing, the same name with mine. Okay, can you help us out? Okay, we we'll start with what the stru what structures that we talking now. Hello, I I I think I need a structure. We are talking about vowels, right? Vowels. vowels. Okay, how many vowels? vowels do we have in the heart? Uh, Look at the picture. Mm -hmm. uh, Look at the picture. There are four vowels. Is it, um, mm -hmm. okay, let's say um, uh, four vowels, what are those? Can you name it on top of your head? As many as you can. Okay. And to Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. All okay. right. Uh -huh. Okay. Let Let me try. Let me try one more time to see if you guys can call it all. Um. I have. Oh, I called 81 earlier, uh, Nhung Nguyen, can you help us? Okay, let's start with the vowels on the left. What are those vowels on the left? Uh, can you help us uh, or are you able to unmute at this time, 81, Nhung Nguyen? Yeah. Okay, let's say uh, what vowels you can, what vowels can you see on the left side of the heart? Uh, I'm sorry, I'm not. Um, 
I'm okay, not, not no worries. <laughs> okay, no worries. So let's say we're talking uh, about vowels, right? Yeah. Uh, and then we have uh, someone, the first one mentioned that vowels um, connecting or separate, not connecting, but separating. So, uh, the vowels is separate uh, from the, um, separate the atrium from the ventricles. So um, on the left, um, we have, we have, so can you guys look at the mitral? Someone um, yeah. earlier said mm. that it's, me mm. it's mitral, but it's not mitral, okay? So you see um, the word right there, M-I, it's pronounced my, not me, okay? It's not E-E, uh, -E, so we, we don't say it's me. So mitral. So mitral is an, an adjective. So as we, as you we all talk about, all is mean pretending. So it's an adjective. So it need a noun after it. So we have to we have to say it like mitral vowel. So it if you say mitral, um, I may understand, but it's not right. So the vowel that we have uh, here on the left that separates the atrial. The left atrial and uh, from the the left ventricle is mitral valve. Okay, mm -hmm. so that's how I describe it. And I would like someone to talk about the valves on the side. Um, I only see how about twenty two mm -hmm. Lei Kanto. Can you unmute yourself, or are you not able to? Let's see. Maybe you at work then. Um, may I uh, have uh, sixty one? And a title, yeah. Can you help us? Yes, I am here. Uh, Dr. Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. the, We're talking uh, about the vowels on the right. Can you describe what it is and what function is? Uh, yes. Uh, the vowel uh, is uh, right has is uh, mis miscus. Vowel. Mm. Uh, B B cus B cus speech vowel. Mm. Mm. B min min two. Mm. And cus speech by project projection. Okay. Mm. What? Mm -hmm. Thank you. Before we go, we proceed. I would like to apologize because uh, um, this illustration a little bit, you know, it has some uh, mis um, spelling there. Um, the word that they refer here by cuspic is actually not right because on the right side, the word for it would be the tri cuspic. Okay, you see the cus k u s there. We need to, you know, put our stress on that word. So tri tri cuspic. Try, try cuspid. So it's, I mean, vang, uh, va, ba la. Okay. Đỗ Thị Nga, have, you have a question? So, okay. I think that in the heart, we have four vowels. That mm -hmm. means two vowels in the heart and two mm -hmm. vowels connect to the heart and the arteries. Mm -hmm. <coughs> so, yeah, two vowels on the left is mm -hmm. always, uh, is, on the left is two vowels. Mm -hmm. That means by triscopious vowel in the mm -hmm. right and mm -hmm. biscopious vowel in the left. Mm -hmm. so, so, yeah. Yeah. So connect to the ventricle, the right mm -hmm. ventricle to the pulmonary. Okay. We have a pulmonary vowels uh -huh. and Connect to the left ventricle uh -huh. <clears throat> to the artery. We have the aortic valves. That's mm -hmm. one idea. Okay, all right. That's very good. Um, I noticed that you said. Um, I just try to you know make sure that you guys are able to pronounce this word right, and then um, as we I, that I just illustrated how we will remember it by explaining it to others. And also that why, how you able to locate it where it is in the heart. When you hear someone talk about um, dog terms during the conversation, right? So as I mentioned, the bicuspid sometimes um, 
it call it's called um it's called so the valley cell have structure sometimes it have what we call a lithlet so normally um especially for the vowel a aortic vowel you see the word at the end it's a aortic so the or you need to you know raise your voice uh, rate your you need to um put your intonation there so aortic vowel so with the aortic vowel normally it have three leaflets sometimes um with some congenital condition is only have two leaflets so they would be called bicuspic aortic vowel okay that one of the conditions so the the imaging they they uh they are kind of like you know messed it up a little bit, um, but the term the, the the good term to talk about the 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 valve that connected between atrium and ventricle is um, on the left side would be mitral valve mitral valve and on the right side would be tricuspic valve try to not tri okay so try tricuspic valve. So that will be the left and the right that separate thin atrial and, and atrium. So other, other words, we can say atrial ventricular or AV valve, that what they talk about, maltral or tricuspic, okay? And as you mentioned, the, the aortic, the ventricle is where the large vessel uh, on the left would be aortic, you know, aorta, that would be the large vessel. So it will pump the blood through that valve so that's why they call it aortic, that's why it's called aortic um, valve, okay? So, I'm sorry. Um, I have a question. But yes? In the picture, we see that on the right, you name uh -huh. as bicuspid valve, but actually uh -huh. bicuspid valves is in the left. Yeah, the yeah, that's what, that what, that what I'm trying to say. Um, the picture that I put in, um, they did not uh, did it right. Yeah. They did not do it right, sorry. Okay. All right, let's move on. Okay, so we got a pulmonary. You guys see pulmonary. So pul pulmonary, okay. Pulmonary is an adjective because uh, the airy itself is mean pertaining. So it needs uh, a noun after that. So pulmonary, uh, pul pulmonary valve, which connecting between pulmonary um uh, artery with the right ventricle okay all right so we're done with the structure Oof, i think anatomy is for me is is the the least favorite one because i i don't like but for the heart is an exception okay so that's um we're done with a, a anatomy but then we move to a little bit about physiology so again see and now i follow a word with ology so physiology is just like talk about the function with the heart. Can anyone name one, now say one sentence about the functions of the heart? Let me pick, uh, let me say, how about 15? Hoàng Ngọc Anh, 15? Oh, yes, I'm here. Don't okay. Mm -hmm. the, function, the function of heart, I think that it um, bump the blood into whole body. Okay. So can you say it one more time? Um, just don't try to, to answer my question, but to explain in the, let's say, the heart do something. Can you say that sentence again? The, uh, sorry, I cannot hear you clearly. Can you repeat your question to me? Okay. The function of the heart, that's all mm -hmm. right. Oh uh, yeah. So, but you say the function of the heart is um, something, something after that. Okay. But can yeah. you just say, you are the heart. What are you gonna do? Okay, let's start. Um, th that is uh, maintain the the people survive and pump the blood into the whole body. Good, good, good. <laughs> so just like you know, you play in the word and make it more conversational and it's more fun. It's not mm -hmm. like you're gonna say, "I think the heart functions e." Okay, ah, a lot of all right. yeah. All right. <laughs> So right, a lot it. of Vietnamese doctors, when they come here and they interview, they, they go to the mm -hmm. interview, they mm -hmm. got the, the question and we have a habit, let's say, you know, thank you for your question. I think uh, it's, it's, it's common and that what we learned, but you can answer in different way that makes it more fun. It's okay. more, you know, joyful to hear. 
Okay, so uh, thank you. Um, so um, it, let's say the heart um, pumps the blood out. So is it you know is in cycle or it just pump you know like endlessly? All right. So we talk about the heart. That's why we have heart beat. It means it just pump, pump. It's not like pump, 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 pump like squeezing and then it die. No, right? So that's why we live until like ninety. So that's why we call uh, cardiac cycles. Cycles mean it just start and then it uh, is going and then it ends. So that's what we call is cycles. So there are two type of two. Um, you know, um, two part of that cycle. Someone um, look at the, the four words at the end and can tell me or introduce me what the word are talking about. Can I have, um, let's see, someone here. I want to see more people, but it doesn't let me be. Okay, I just pick up a number. Um, 72, she's, she's trying to pronounce something. Zheng Tufu. Um, the first uh, one is systole, and the adjective is uh, systolic. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, can you uh, can you define that word for me? What does it mean by systole? Mm -hmm. Can anyone mm -hmm. help or? You think you can do it? So look at the word systolic, okay? Systolic, because the, the, the second syllable, e T O, it will be stressed. So systolic, okay? Um, so systolic means, um, you see there, the sito means? Uh, constructing. Okay. So um, you guess, can you define what the systolic mean? Uh, it uh, mean uh, the heart will um, um, get the blood, uh, gather, get the blood um, from a um, vessel. Oh, okay. So what's so um, I... the heart? Okay. All right. So I think um, by the contracting, but it mean, it's mean it's squeezing, it's squeezing, it's pumping the blood. It's not you know, like getting the blood. So I think that will be safe for the next word. Uh, but systole, systole is of the now, the systolic is an adjective, right? So it's a part of cardiac cycle when the heart contracting and pumping the blood out, okay? Let's try that for the next word. Oh. Teacher? Systolic mm -hmm. is mm -hmm. the first sound of vessel pump when you take a uh, blood pressure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it's, I can also like systolic blood pressure, systolic. right? Mm -hmm. Because you see the T A W there is mean top. So systolic, okay? Systolic. Mm -hmm. Okay. But, but in the heart itself, in the cardiac cycle, it mean, um, it's, a, it's a time when the heart contracts and pumps, okay? You mean a so thumb pull? Of a pump beat when, it's like when we take your blood pressure for patient. Yeah. How about, can you try the next one for me? Uh, the uh, diastolic. Mm -hmm. Diastolic. Mm -hmm. Diastolic is the uh, is the um, um, minimum minimal sound when you take a blood pressure for patient, and the 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 um uh, uh the uh, when you can can hear the blood. Uh, if the, you when you take blood pressure, you don't as uh, you ca cannot hear the sound of pound pound piece. This is diastolic. Mm -hmm. Diastolic. So remember, diastolic is Diast an adjective. Is an adjective. So when you say you end the sentence with diastolic, um, it doesn't complete. 
it needs a nouns after it. So you can say diastolic blood pressure because That's blood pressure funny. is mm -hmm. good, good. Yeah. Um, so pay attention. Um, diastole is a noun and the stress is at the S. So diastole, but diastolic. Okay, so the stress is different. So you can differentiate which mean which is an adjective and what is a noun. Okay, we all good? All right. Oh, guys, I don't know. Is everyone tired yet? Um, I don't know what time we will have a break, Andine. Uh, uh, we may have the break now. Okay, okay. okay. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want everyone really stressed out. So um, we have about how long for the break? Usually just about five or 10 minutes. Huh? Okay, okay. So yeah, um, feel free to take the break and get some drink. Um, talk with your beloved ones or um, I'll, I'll be here if anyone have want to chat and want to talk and I have, I know that today and I mean also joy it right and then yeah still <laughs> okay oh I don't see you Where okay you <laughs> why we have the break while you have a break I would like to tell you something for uh -huh. of you exercise mm. for next week you have to submit me not Dr. Nguyen Nguyen, <laughs> me, your short clip, audio short clip that you pronounce all the terms in page two, because I okay. need you to practice it. Because okay. I, I heard a lot of you mispronunciation, make a mm -hmm. mispronunciation, like okay. pressure is not pressure. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And especially about the stress, you need to put the correct stress on the term. It's okay. So yeah. everybody make a clip. I, it takes me a lot of time to listen to you, but it's mm -hmm. for you. So I, I spend time for you. So please, mm -hmm. please do that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it, um, it's it, fun. Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, excuse me, teacher, just only a uh, pronunciation of this word, not the meaning, right? No. Just, okay, I just take care about your pronunciation because you make a correct pronunciation. So the patients or your colleague can understand you. If mm -hmm. you don't make it correctly, nobody understand, understand you, huh? even that mm -hmm. you, you have the correct spelling, okay? Okay, mm -hmm. yeah. thank you, doctor. Yeah, that's really important. Uh, Okay. Do you, and anyone's interested in cardiology or anyone practice cardiology? This is my opportunity to connect with people, future cardiologists. I'm applying next year. So I want to be a, a cardiologist again. Uh, so hopefully, okay. So most most of our people here are uh, medical graduate and medical students and nurse. And may enjoy us for conversation. You keep quiet. <laughs> How have you been? Uh, Good, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Enjoyed the holiday yeah. so far. Hopefully. Yes, holidays coming. How's the holidays in uh, you in you in Texas, right? Anne? Texas, yeah, Dallas, yeah. Texas. Dallas, yeah. I want to I want to visit Texas next, maybe next next time well i have a uh, i have a friend in houston uh -huh. um, but I never had a chance to visit dallas because my friend said it's far away so he she did not drive me so <laughs> but next time i i i may drive myself then okay it's not it's, too hot now uh, I mean, it's not too hot yeah. it's not <laughs> uh, <laughs> luckily it's winter time we're starting winter but luckily mm. it's not that cold yet Yesterday mm. it's, it's around 60, yeah. mm. more or less. So it's around 15, 20 degrees Celsius. So yeah, you, you have to speak in Celsius because <laughs> <laughs> nobody in Vietnam can understand and can feel how, how cold is it. <laughs> uh, yeah. yeah. Well, anyway, I like, I like um, cold weather. Uh, I stayed in Virginia for like almost six years. So now I moved to Florida and it's almost like 98, 92 humid. daily. Very, very humid though. 
So it sounds like in Vietnam, in Saigon, um, back then, but um, yeah, I, I'm still not used to it. Even though like in the hospital, the AC did turn on all the time. So I, I was wearing, I wear um, jackets outside, but when I step to the car and it's immediately like so hot, it's so hot and so, so. But I, I really like, it's, it's the best to celebrate Christmas during the, the winter time. But here in, in Florida, we don't feel that at all. <laughs> but at least you don't, don't have the storms. <laughs> oh no, the hurricane is worse. And we just passed the tropical um, hurricane. So luckily- so, but in winter, do you, do, you have, do you have storms in winter? No. Uh, no, no, oh, no. It's just rain. No. It's just uh, rain. Yeah, in the summer. <laughs> in the summertime. So it's just like Vietnamese, rainy, rainy and sunny. So that's what it yeah. called sunny state. Sunny mm -hmm. state. <laughs> Just right. go to Canada. You you may have the snows <laughs> half of the That's year. Half That's of the cold. year. Yes. <laughs> Let's say I'm gonna pick someone for a favorite weather or favorite state in the US to visit. Mm. Mm, I want to hear them. Ha ha phúc đông eleven. Hi. Hi. Nice meeting you. Hi. Yeah, I'm John. I am an emergency doctor. I, mm -hmm. um, you know, I am 35 years old, but I just graduated medicine a uh, few months ago because, okay. you know, I, when I uh, graduated high school, that time I didn't have enough money for study again, for study mm -hmm. more and more, you know. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. I had to uh, work in Malaysia three years there. And mm -hmm. then I uh, back to Vietnam after that, after collect a little bit money. So I uh, study like 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 a physician assistant, mm. you know. And after that, yeah. I got a job in the mm. the, the town where where I live. So uh -huh. after five years, I met the transition to be a GP. So uh. you know that, that that reason why I'm thirty five. I you know uh -huh. I just arrived. <laughs> No, no worries. That's a great story. And thank you for sharing that with us. I say uh, sharing with us. I'm, I'm kind of at your but, shoes. <laughs> Yeah, you know, you know, actually, I'm interested about, you know, cardiovascular disease, but, but, you know, I work in a local hospital, but I don't have a big chance to, to, mm -hmm. you know, to know deeply about um, the knowledge uh, okay. in cardiovascular field, you know, yeah. uh, but yeah. I'm interested about that uh, topic. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's very, uh, I would say, fascinating. Uh, it would be biased because I fell in love with cardio. A uh, long time ago, so so everyone asked me how I feel about it. I would I would would say like the big words. Anyway, um, glad that you joined. Um, your English is yeah. very good, and um, uh, keep up your good work. You know, when you still study, you begin. It means you forever young. Don't even mention the age. <laughs> so in my yeah, program, you. yeah, yeah. In my program. You know, sometimes Sometimes the age is the number, right? <laughs> yeah, it, yeah, age is the number. That's good. Uh, you, you know, you know when I, I, you know when I work in the local hospital that time, I I just like the assistant physician. But uh, you know, unfortunately, the the group from uh, the Australia they come to practice to observe mm -hmm. how mm -hmm. we we do the treatment on the patient here. You know, each year they they they, they stay. Uh, they, they come two or three times, but uh, each time they will stay uh, two weeks. You know, the mm. first group come here, I didn't speak English, you know. Mm. But uh, yeah. when I listen, uh, you know, medical interpreter and uh, and Australian student, they speak to uh, each other. So that's the yeah. reason that, that that time I, 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 you know, I make the, I, I feel like the curious. So that, mm. that, uh, that time, so I, I try to, um, to 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 learn English by myself on oh. YouTube or um, yeah. you know movie or something like this, and after the after the short time of learning, so um, I try to 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 catch with the uh, backpacker to talk with them, mm. and then mm. <laughs> step by step my English get better and better. <laughs> yeah, that's it. That's amazing uh, experience there. Um, that how you know I started too. Uh, I I came to the US of about like I said, 2015, so it's been seven or eight years. I, I study English in Vietnam, but it's, at that time it's English, English. So it, I, when it came here, I wasn't able to order a Starbucks coffee because I love coffee, but I wasn't know how to order it. 
So that's how it, yep. it all started. You keep listening, keep practicing, don't be shy, talk, be talkative like me, and then you get better. Yeah. Okay. All, all right. right. Thank time, you. time's up. You know, so I uh, let you let you in about the cardiovascular. Okay. 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 All right. Okay. So we can join back for the less for the boring part. <laughs> I hope people will not get bored. Um. So uh, for the next, uh, I think we have two more section. Um. Is a lot of work. Um. But so I would like to hear you guys do the same thing. Try to say it a word out loud. And then on the right side, I make it easier for you is already like kind of briefly explaining what it is already. So you just need, you can choose your way to describe it or make a sentence by yourself. Um, use that word or use the on the word that they, they, they listed here. Okay. But we try to make it on, um, you know, faster than we did earlier because earlier I tried you guys. Uh, I try to uh, make you guys um, feel familiar with, you know, how it works. Okay, so the next part of the, the system that we're going to talk about more clinical is more uh, about signs and symptoms, right? Um, so these are very common symptoms for patients who have heart conditions. So I want to pick someone who can tell me which, um, you know, the names of the disease, I can, uh, I'm going to give you more, but I just want to see uh, someone to start with. Um, let's say, may I have 49? Nguyễn Thị Vân Anh, Anh hay Anh? Are you able to unmute yourself? Yes, I'm here, I'm here. Yeah, okay. Can you try the first word for me? I just pronounce it. Uh huh. Pronounce it and try to de divide it or explain it to her and use that, or you can use that word in your own sentence. Okay. So anorexia. Um, mm -hmm. The pronunciation is anorexia. Mm -hmm. and, um, this is a state that uh, when the patient feels like they lost their appetite. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Can you um, make a sentence? Um. Uh, a sentence okay. by a patient, something like that. Or... Yeah, anything or about yourself. I hope you're not in this symptom, not having this symptom. So just pretend that I'm a doctor. So I say okay. with my college that, um, oh, I think the, the patient uh, is suffering from anorexia. Good, good. The one that you use um, is very, very common when you document it, when you said the patient is suffering from. It means instead of, you know, um, the patient is having, is having something, you know, is the patient have some symptoms like that, and then you can use another phrase, is, is suffering from, or is experiencing from, uh, experiencing something. So let's say you can say, oh, I, I think the patient is suffering from anorexia, anorexia, okay? So it means loss of appetite. So a lot of patients who have a heart condition, for example, heart failure, they, they, they tiredness because they don't have enough blood, you know, to their organ, they feel low energy, so they don't want to eat or they become indigestive. Indigestive means it's hard to digest. Um, so that's why they don't want to eat. It means they, they you know, they, they lost their appetite. Okay, good. Let's move to the another one. This one is, let's see, may I have a 60 Fang Vang Bao? Are you able to unmute yourself? Oh, yes. Um, the what's second your, uh, Anxia, 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 Anxia. Okay, look, 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 it's, it said, a N G N and then Z and then you see I G H. You you know the word high, right? When you describe something like you know high, uh, like the tree, like that guy is very. Oh uh, no, the tree is very high. It means this one is anxiety. You know Z I G. Yeah, in and anxiety. Anxiety, okay. Anxiety. Okay. Something Can you read nice. the description? Uh, or do you know what it means when you feel anxiety? Uh, anxiety uh, is mean uh, we even. Uh, mm, uh, <laughs> okay. 
a few try. links after. Uh, uh -huh. Worries. Oh, oh worries. worries. That's good. That's worries. good. You feel worried? You feel worried? You feel unease? Unease? Sorry, like easy. Ease. Uh, yeah, easy is a, a, a now a, an adjective, right? It's, it's different, it's contract too difficult, so easy. But the now will be ease, so unease is mean you don't feel comfortable, you feel nervous, you feel worried. So all of that all to come together, um, it, this mean anxiety. Okay, yes. so a lot of patients, a lot of patients with cardiovascular disease, they, they, you know, the answers about the disease or it's just like an underlying dizzy come with with that okay but not specifically just for this symptom mm -hmm. but good work thank you all right the next one is more about cardio all right uh let me pick some one mm, 85 10 high wing mm, okay are you able to help us okay yeah. uh uh cardio mm -hmm. uh, it's me now the health uh, heart rate is low it's often up for uh, under 60 beats per um, minus. Good. All right. I want you to look at on the left um, side of the table or the left column where the, the cursor with the hand right there. So, and then it was uh, pointing at, you know, the word bradycardia, bra bradycardia, right? So you see, um, we talked about it before. Cardia is means uh, hard. And the body, body, body is means slow. You can see this in different words um, later on. In respiratory, they have body, um, body pina. It means you you um, breathing slowly. But this if one is cardia, it means heart, heart beating um, slowly. And the um, I A is something is mean condition. So when you know that the I A is mean condition, so you know this word is a now, not an objective, right? So it can uh, stand along by itself. Okay, so it's a condition. So you can you can um, you can define this word by you know a, another way like bradycardia is a condition characterized by slow heart rate, but usually under sixty bit per minute. Okay, all yeah. right. Let's try the other one. Um, this one is very um, common, but because when I when I said that um, chest pain, um, um, you you know what it means, right? Um, but then I want to teach you guys another term later on. When when chest pain is there's a multiple uh, etiologies or causes that can explain the symptom chest pain. So it can relate it to the heart. It can relate it to the GI um, system, or it can relate it to the lungs, right? But when it's come to the heart, there's another term, which you guys are gonna see later, um, but just try to familiar with the chest pain. And then we're gonna practice a immediate case regarding this symptom. So I'm gonna skip that for now. Um, let's move to the other one. Can I call out someone here? Uh, let's see. Um, okay. Okay. Can lemon thing? Can you help me again? Oh yes. Uh, can Can you hear me? Yes. Very yeah. clearly. The word is cyanosis. Okay. One more time. Um, cyanosis. So it's not no, but it's no. No, no, just like you oh. say no. Okay. Okay, let us say it again. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Cyanosis. Cyanosis, right? So, so what does it mean? You um, can you look at the, the um blue mm. one? What does it mean then? You break and, the um, word. Mm -hmm. The word had um to bad uh, cyan mean uh, the blueness and mm. osis mean um the con condition. Uh huh. Okay. So can you define the words by just the two um, definition that we have there? What does it mean by uh, cyanosis? Cyanosis. It's a I condition. think cyanosis is the condition of the skin. Mm -hmm. That means the skin mm -hmm. is, um, is uh, bluish. Okay. Yeah. 
Right, good, good. So yeah. is it a condition or is it a condition um, which or in which um, the skin becomes discolored into, you know, bluish or things like that? Or you can say it's a condition uh, with the bluish discoloration, discoloration of skin, okay? Yes. So bluish is, um, is like an adjective. This coloration is the change of the color. So you use that uh, word phrase, talk about the skin. Okay, good. Next one is very common symptoms in patients with heart and lung disease. I have, uh, can I have Zheng Tu Fu's 72? Can you help us? Um, um, I will pronounce um, this word. Mm. It's um, this, this here. Okay, look. Look at the, uh, the syllables down to the words, right? This, it have SP, so this, 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 yeah. Mm -hmm. It's not just this, but it have, uh -huh. okay. And then N E E R, so dyspnea. Try? Dyspnea. Okay, good. Is it better? Okay, and then what does it mean? Um. This means uh, difficult and uh, mm -hmm. um, yeah, um, means breathing. Uh, okay. This word like um, when people feel uh, difficult when uh, they breathing. Good, good. So uh, try it one more time. Is a symptom which people will, will uh, mm -hmm, try. It. Um, this near is the condition in which people feel difficult when they breathing. Yeah, or you can say difficult feel when people feel difficult uh, breathing. So difficult yeah. with verb in, right? Difficult with verb in. Or if you can say when people have difficulty is a now with yeah. breathing. Okay, good. Let's move to the next symptom. It's very common for patients with a uh, heart failure. Okay, uh, may I have 91 Fang Thị Lu. Oh, that's a good number. Can you help us? 91? Yeah. Um, Can you pronounce that word for me? Edema. Okay, look, um, so it a eh, eh, edema, good. Yes. Edema. Mm -hmm. um, what does it mean by edema? Edema uh, means swelling. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, it means swelling. That's good. Um, um, basically, it is, uh, it's, um, they have a different type of edema. Um, you, if you see uh, on the right side, um, the, the, there's a paragraph when they talk about pitting edema. Right, so that one of the words that you often see in textbook or in you know anywhere they when they describe about uh, edema because that if someone here already graduated or a doctor or medical student will know you know different type of edema but one of the very common type of edema in patient with heart failure is um, pitting edema. It means when you push out to the skin, you know, especially in the leg or lower extremities, and you see you know it just there's an indentation. It, it's go, go deep in and then it's not, it's, it's slowly coming back or it just stay there. What the, that, what it mean by pitting, by pitting edema. Okay. Hay là thường, um, tiếng Việt mình có là bị phù lôi và phù lõm. Chắc là vậy. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's move to the another one. Uh, can I have 15? Hoàng Thị Ngọc Anh. Uh, that is a parlor. Mm -hmm. Power, okay. Yeah. Power, power. So we, we Vietnamese, we usually, uh, even me right now, you struggle with the L. So make sure that you don't forget the L. So power, power, okay. Um, it's a lack of, uh, so sorry. Uh, what does it mean by power then? That is lack of color, tennis. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, good. Um, 
The next one is, is going to be very easy because it looked like the, another word that we saw before. Let me just get someone here. Um, OK. Um, 82, Vũ Thị Thu Hệ. Are you there? Yeah, um, I'm here. You, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Can you say, say that word for me? Yeah. Tachycardia. Mm -hmm. uh, Tachy means uh, rapid. Cardia uh -huh. means heart and ear means uh, condition. Okay, tachycardia. Okay, so make sure you, you emphasize or stress on the heart uh, because we're talking about the heart, not, not the lungs. Okay, so ta tachycardia. So try to play with it. Yeah, and uh, you said rapid, it's not rapid, but rapid. Okay, it's D, not T. So good. So what does it mean by um, tachycardia? Uh, tachycardia means your uh, pulse is over 100 per minute. Uh -huh. Good, good. So it means it's a condition where your heart beats so fast, right? So it can, call, it can cause um, a symptom that I'm going to jump right in right now is um, the last word uh, of the next table um, right there. Uh, and and, and Dean, can you point to that word? Uh, the last word, the pink word, yeah, right there. Uh, so when you say that patient may have bradycardia or patient have tachycardia, patient may feel, they, they don't know if it's fast or, or, or slow, but they all, only feel like their heart, usually they, they describe like, my, I feel like my heart racing, my heart is racing, or, or I feel like my heart missed missed a, a bit or something like that so when you have that feeling you will have that word can someone say it to me um 48 uh, are you able to help us with that word okay can you unmute yourself yes okay that word right there uh Start with a P, right? P? Uh, yeah. Okay. Pitting so? idiom. Uh, pitting idioma. Oh, no, no. The last word. Last. The fifth. Yeah, the fifth one. The fifth one. Uh, okay. Te din, te Let din me say I. I. Mm -hmm. I'm not seeing my, my page. Okay. Okay. Good. Ah. Uh, Palpitation. Okay, look, pal, pip, pal, pulate, palpitation. Okay, tation. Okay, palpitation. Okay, so what does it mean by palpitation when the patient describes it to you? Mm, I think it's a pounding, bracing of the heart. Mm -hmm. Okay, so when you, sometimes when you get <clears throat> the history from the patient, I'm sorry. Um, you said um, you when you talk about when you ask them, do you feel palpitation? Uh, sorry, I feel I feel like you have some someone has a. Uh, can can you can you repeat? My my connection is not very good right now. Uh, can you unmute yourself so that uh, the background noise is not breaking up? Okay, good. So. When the patient describe, when you ask the patient, you ask, do you feel palpitations? They may not understand what you say. So you need to know how to explain it to the patient. And there are different ways to do that. Like I mentioned before, in this way, uh, in this chart, they said that do you feel your heart pounding or racing. It means sometimes it's the heart is just beating fast. Or do you feel it's, you know, um, beating irregularly? Or do you feel it, um, you feel like your heart stop beating for a little bit for very, you know, one second. There's a different way to ask them about palpitation, okay? All right, any questions? Okay, so that we can move to the, uh, we're gonna go up. So the words, the fourth word in the table. Okay, that's good, that's good. So we explained the pitting edema already, pitting edema, okay. And the next one, the next one is, uh, yeah, may have, let's see, uh, 69 Trần Thu Hương. Are you able to unmute? 
Okay. Um, hello. Um, yes. Yeah. Uh, auto knee. So auto means straight and knee mean uh, breathing. So auto mm -hmm. knee, I think is kind uh like people when uh, they they have the straight position like to sit up or to stand mm -hmm. up, but they breathe. Uh, they they breathe um uh, like more comfortably. Right. Mm, I mean like uh they, they need to sit up or to stand up to, to breathe more uh, comfortably. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's good. So or this one is a little bit hard to pronounce, okay? So the stress would be as a T-H-O-P, so tough. So uh, autophia, autophia, okay, autophia. So, mm -hmm. so you will see the, the auto, um, Prefix, um, prefix in another word like orthostatic. It means you know that static is mean like status, and then auto is mean straight. So sometimes they use the, the word orthostatic hypotension. So you guys know hypo is mean low, tension is blood pressure, right? So low blood pressure when they stand up. So now with this way, uh, with this word, auto mean um, the patient will feel easier to breathe when they when they stand up so there's another way when in in medical or in cardiovascular disease we talk about apnea when the patient describe that they they won't be able to sleep because they feel shortness of breath when they lay in down so it's it's just like it is it's described in different way but the meaning itself is the same okay so in vietnamese we said um but nhưng có thở khi nằm Uh, nhưng mà cái từ của nó dùng ở đây um, ở, ở tiếng Anh thì nó dùng là um, opnia um, or, or topnia okay so that's uh, that's um that's just a little bit explanation there all right so that one of the symptoms and the pitting edema is um a size uh, and then um I guess you guys know certain symptoms already um right um the, the next one would be uh, start with an M Can I have um six down Can you can you help us with this word? Try. Uh yes. Murmurs is that mean the low pitching human influencing sound. I think it's murmur e uh tiếng thổi. I I think I don't I think I don't know exactly when describe this this uh -huh. word. Okay, yes. good. So that's good enough. Good enough. So try again. Speak it slowly. Murmur. Okay. So they have an R. Yeah, so we try to make it so fast a murmur, but uh, it's not yes. murmur, but a murmur. Uh, they have murmur. an R in it. Okay. Uh, so murmur so, is the first, first, uh, first stress or second stress? Usually it is the first one. So it it more, one. Oh, thank you. Yeah, murmur. Okay. So now try try this. So the murmur itself, like you know, it can happen either in um it happened during the cardiac cycle. Remember, we talked about we have two two part of the cardiac cycle, what are those? S1 and S2. Mm, how about syst systolic? Ah, uh, sorry. Uh, systolic, uh, systolic? Uh, okay, cycle, sorry. Uh, it's okay, the no way. Cyclopia. Uh, cyclopia is the S1 sound and the okay. dialysis uh, period is the S2 sound. Okay, so I, I bet some of people here don't know S1 or S2, but let's say, let's try There are two parts of the cardiac cycle is systole and the astole, right? Yes. Right? So now I want you to use the murmur that happened during a stole. What does that type of murmur call? Try combine two words together. Okay. So you know that murmur is a noun, you need an adjective before it. So what is the adjective of systole? Okay. We talk uh, about murmur it. is uh, between the sci uh uh, uh cyclic uh, period and the diastolic period. Okay, systolic murmur. Okay. Systolic so murmur. It means the murmur that we hear or it happens during a systole. Okay, let's try the second one. Was it the murmur? What is it? Was it a type of murmur? 
happens uh, during um, the astobe. I'm sorry, I don't understand. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So we talk about systolic murmur. Is the murmur yes. happens during systole, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. So the what is the type of murmur happens during the astole? What do we call it? Okay. Uh, Can someone else? It's okay. Let me get. Um. How about thirty six wing? You know. Can you help him? You hear my question? Yeah, I, I hear your question, but I, I don't know how to answer okay. this question. All right, let oh. me see if anyone type it here. So I, guess uh, like, I can answer that question. Uh, perfect. I think it's a mm -hmm. uh, diastolic murmur. Good, good. So that's what I'm looking for. So um, it's, it's, um, the murmurs happen during, during um, diastole will be uh, diastolic. Uh, murmur because diastolic is an adjective and it go with the murmur because the murmur is um, a noun. Make sense? Okay, hobbies make sense, right? <laughs> okay, last one for this word. I don't know, I think that we go a little bit slow. Um, but this one uh, is, let me see. Nguyen um, Yung, uh, have you uh, spoken yet? Can you help us? Uh, then the next one. Uh huh. Uh, pitting. Uh, pitting. No, 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 no. The one. Uh, I'm sorry. The one that uh, Dr. Dean is pointing at. Okay. Hoiding cation. Uh, see. So at the there's a cursor. The cursor um look like a hand next to that one. Start with a C, C L A U. What's the word? What's it? What can it pronounce? Claudication. Okay, claudication. Again. Claudication. Good. What does it mean by, by claudication? Um, it means uh, the crumble, the crumble pie pain. Um, I, I think I, I don't really understand the meaning of, of this, this word. Okay. okay, but do you know, is it in Vietnamese, what does it mean? Anyone knows? Raise your hands. Okay. Oh, đau 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 đau. okay, good. So that always means, but you know, so usually patients will feel different type of pain. But in this kind of pain or these symptoms, it, it's usually a cramp. Like it's mean giống như chuột nó gọi là chuột rút đau đau. Chuột rút qua chuột rút. Okay, good. I heard someone. Yes. So it's like cramp, like pain. But it's cắt hồi. It's mean that what is mean by um claudication. It's mean they walk a little bit and then they feel that cramp like pain, and then they stop and then the pain goes away, and this mean uh, claudication, and then. Uh, when you study more, you know what caused it. Okay, so I want to move on so that we don't we can catch up with the time. You aren't good. Whew. So now we talk so much about we know about anatomy, we know about physiology, we know about size and symptoms, and all of that connect together. We call if it, it become abnormal, abnormal, and then it will cause disease, right? So there's several very common. There are tons of heart uh, diseases I want to talk about, but these are very common. Uh, some, sometimes it's just a, a condition to describe an, abnormal, an abnormality, okay? But it's not necessarily to be a, a, a disease. It can be a syndrome, it can be a condition, okay? Let's start with the first one. This is easy, we will be talking about, all right? Can you pick someone? 24, Lê Thị Ngọc, Anh hay Anh? You there? Mm. Can you unmute yourself at this moment? Okay, yes. can you try that word for me? The first word. So try to look at, um, you know, if you want how to pronounce it, there's a, a they, they split the word into different things. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Um, you're my old party. Okay, try one more time. Cardi. Oh, hi. Oh, 
my old my putty. All putty. Okay. So you oh, so yeah. you see, whenever you see the O P A T H A, so that's that um ending or that group or that part of word means you can see the explanation means the blue yes uh, word right. is mean. Uh, putty is dizzy. Okay. How about the other part? Uh, Cutty is hurt and uh -huh. my own is muscle. Okay, so try to explain to us what is mean by cardiomyopathy. Um, actually, I, I don't know. Uh, I am not okay. a doctor or nurse, so uh, okay. I, I just um, think it is a dizzy about uh -huh. muscle or hurt. Good. So you don't need to be a doctor. You don't need to be a nurse to know what it means. Yeah. You need yes. a language learner to know what it means. So it's a, it's a disease uh, related to the heart muscle. That's all. Okay, yes. good. Thank you. So and then later on, you can uh, have a different term, but I save it if you know you guys go up to the next level. Okay, let's try the, uh, the next one. Um, let me see. Mm, okay, you okay, 72, 68, okay, 90. Uh, I'm sorry, I couldn't navigate you guys. Um, can I have 15 from thing of an? I guess people. Uh, yes, doctor. That is yeah. myocardial infarction. Okay, good. What does it mean? Uh, that means uh, this is related to heart muscle. Uh huh. That there is a a clot or um. Uh, that 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 is infraction. That is a, okay. a that is a clot or occlusion in the mm -hmm. um in the in the vessel blood vessel related okay. to heart muscle. Good, good. The reason why I did not put the infarction there because uh, it's a little bit harder to explain. Uh, you know. Uh, but anyway, um, the pronounce is good. You know, myocardial. Myocardial, so, so you know that we learned already the AL, an AL is, mean, yeah. is an adjective, so it yeah. needs a noun after it, so you cannot say just myo, but it's myocardial and then as a noun, the infarction, so any word with the T-I-O-N usually would be a noun, right? So you don't know infarct mean, but it mean it's a noun that's applying for the myocardial. So infarct actually is a condition Infarction is actually a, a condition when uh, a, a cell or a tissue get lack of blood and then they become ischemic. Ischemic is another word that uh, I don't know if I put it down here, but it means basically the cell lack of oxygen, lack of blood, and then it become it can die. So it, infarction is a condition when it dies but it's hard to uh, go back to normal or reverse. So I think we có nghĩa là nhồi máu, nhồi máu cơ tim. Good, good. So we can move to the next one. This is very common, super common. By the fact, the most common one. Okay, CHF. Uh, let me see. Okay, can I have Trần Thu Phương 72? Um, Contracted heart failure. Okay, try one more time. Is, uh, can you try one more time? Contractive heart failure. See, I, I, he I heard I heard it's stressed, but it's, you see um, it, it's in, in, it's, um, it tells you to pronounce j, j. So it's congested, j, g is not like um, guest or something like that, okay? So congested heart and the fa fa failure, so you see the yeah. U-R-E is mean E. So fa failure, okay? So not failure, not failure or failure, okay? So congested heart failure. All right, so you know what that condition described for? What does it mean by when it said that the congested heart failure? Can someone help her? Uh, can I have 11? Uh, can you help us? What does it mean by congested heart failure? Oh, yes, okay. um, congestive heart failure is mean uh, the heart not strong enough to maintain circulation. 
Good. That's very good. Um, you know, definition just to explain someone in a layman's term. It means it with with normal language. You don't need to use uh, like you know a medical term for that. So it's a condition when the heart it become you know um become weak and they cannot um, pump or do it function well to maintain um its function. So it's fun the functions of the heart it pump in the blood. Okay, but actually in this case, when you talk about congestive, it's more the more kind of like painting a picture of a patient who become who becomes a very congested. It means they have volume overload. They may have pit in edema. They have a pulmonary edema. So the edema or swelling inside of the lung. So you guys can learn a new word by combining the two. So it's more what they call a congested. But there are different type, different term to talk about heart failure. But if you guys later on after this lecture, um, you can look it up any word about heart failure or what type of heart failure. Okay, and then you know more. They can do systolic heart failure. They can do diastolic heart failure, or they can do you know reduced EF, some stuff like that. Okay, let's move to the next one. This one is also easy. I hope that everyone will know this word. Uh, let's see. So I think that's why I see. Okay, 41 wing thi hoi thu. Can you help us? Okay, okay. Jet, I hear. Okay. Uh, Jet, um, um, my old card is, my old card does this. My okay. Yes. Okay. You see where we stressed in? Do you know where we should stress in? This, this. Die this, right? Die this. Die. Okay. Die means you die this. Okay. Good. Okay. Good. Okay. Yes. <laughs> okay. okay. Yes. Uh, um. Sit on the um. Uh, myocarditis is hurts much, much, much cold, and I did a inflammation. And um, myocarditis is mean in inflammation of uh, um, muscle uh, uh, layer of us. Okay, good. Very good job at explaining it. However, I like to fix uh, some of the mistakes that you made um, when you pronounce it, okay? So that, so that you can um, say it right next time. So um, muscle, not muscle, okay? So okay. muscle. So S C L muscle. muscle, so heart okay. muscle, and, heart muscle. And, mm -hmm. yes. so is a condition um, that when the, the heart muscle be, is is a inflammation of the heart muscle, okay? Yes, and, yes. And itis, itis. So myocarditis. Mm -hmm. Myocarditis. Mm -hmm. Okay. okay thank good. you. Thank you. Okay. Uh, next one. Can I have uh, 59? Phạm Thị Vân Anh, uh, chị có thể giúp bà. Uh, yeah. yeah, can you help us? Yeah, so the word is pericarditis. Mm -hmm. So peri is around uh, cardio mean heart and itis is mean uh, inflammation. So mm -hmm. pericarditis is uh, mean, uh, means inflammation of the uh, around the heart, so uh, pericardio around the house. Shock. Good, okay. Okay, so uh, it's similar to the other words and uh, we already know um, what it mean by pericardial, but they just they just uh, take out the A out and they, they put the itis because it, it to make it mean uh, become like inflammation, right? So peri, pericarditis, again, when you see it, itis, and you need to and, and you need to um, stress in on that word, okay, right? So it means the inflammation of the uh, layer around the heart or the pericardium. You can say that the inflammation of pericardium, okay? So because pericardium is the now or pericardial, good, makes sense. Hope this makes sense. Okay, so next one. Um, can I have 20 la thanh loan 20 uh, yes um, 
cardiac tamponet. Okay. Okay. Mm. Try one more time. Car cardiac. Okay. Cardiac. Okay. Tempo. And the second word, tem tamponate. Tamponate. Super. Like tamponate. Tamponate. Okay. Okay. Mm. Good. So what does it mean then? Uh, cardiac tamponate. Uh, cardio. Um, uh, I'm sorry, I can uh, explain uh, that what. Okay, no worries. Um, it just is a condition. You see the word above it is mean pericarditis, right? So we, we can know that uh, because this one a little bit hard. It's hard to explain because it doesn't say anything beside cardiac, but you know that um, the cardiac is mean the heart. So it's a heart disease, right? It's a heart condition. Uh, tamponade is uh, the condition when become, something becomes very, you know, tension. It doesn't have a way out. Let's say when you blow a balloon and then it doesn't, and you, you tied it and there's no, no way for the air coming out. So in this case, it's not air, but the fluid that accumulates uh, around the heart um, when you have a pericardial effusion. So effusions um, is another word that I don't want to, you guys, um, you know, confuse so much, but it's mean basically is a fluid accumulation between the pericardium and the heart. It accumulates so much because the heart is like a closed space. So the fluid, it just keep coming, you know, um, bigger and bigger and it's, it kind of compress the heart so that when you have a cardiac tamponade, okay? Whenever, so you try to, uh, your homework, try to look up for the tamponade means because you can see it in another system like in, uh, in the lung system, okay? But I'm gonna move on. So the second one, the next one, uh, I'm on the last one, okay. So someone tried to um, say it for me, maybe 69, Trần Hương Thu. Okay, try it. Okay, uh, you mean the last one or the herb one, the gnosis? Oh, you just say it already. So her <laughs> heart, <laughs> Heart valve stenosis. Heart stenosis. So stenosis, okay? Nose is, is, uh, is the stress, right? Heart, um, heart valve st uh, stenosis. So let's say what kind of heart valve that we mentioned earlier. Try uh, one. We have four, we have four okay. kind of ones. Yeah. So okay. should we name four of it? Yeah, you okay. can try. Yeah. Uh, the first one should be the uh, tricubis. Okay. And then mitral van, and mm -hmm. then um, pulmonary van, and then aortic van. Okay, um, try one more time. Just one of your favorite valve that got stenosis. What would you say it condition? What would be that condition called? Um, I think this is a condition that the heart valves become uh, narrow. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that means that that make the van become stiff so mm -hmm. it's kind of mm. okay good uh, properly very... to let the mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. yeah good very good so i'm gonna say my favorite vowel um, that gets a stenosis that would be maltral maltral vowel stenosis or you can say yeah. maltral stenosis so that's my favorite stenosis um what's your favorite one what vowel? Uh, my favorite one. Mm -hmm. Okay, so try the best vowel uh, stenosis. Okay, try cuspic. Okay, try cuspic vowel stenosis. Try cuspic vowel stenosis. 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 Okay. okay, good, good. You, you, you did the second one even right. My, me, I did it wrong. <laughs> Okay, let's move <laughs> yeah. to the other one. Thank you so much. Great work. Um, the last one. Mm, let me pick up someone here. Maybe 40. Uh, let, hold on. Uh, can, I, can I go back to 62? Phan Thị Văn Văn Nam Phương. Regurgitation. Okay, good. This word a little bit hard when you say it fast, okay? Regurgitation. So, the, so remember, even if it's in 
normal English, then any word that have a tation, you will stress at the t, okay? Tation. So, so regurgitation. Yeah. So try to say it multiple times, you'll get you get. So try to tell me one condition that uh, get regurgitation. What vowel that you like to get regurgitated? What vowel? Remember, we talked uh, about a couple of vowels. Uh, mitral vowel. Mm -hmm. Mitral vowel, yeah. Okay, yeah, then yeah. say me, tell me, tell me what the name of that condition. When the um, vowel. Uh, the, the name of the, the condition is mitral vowel regurgitation. See, mm -hmm. you can say the word right when it say it stands alone. But when you when you say it done with say it with other word, you sometimes you don't pay attention to it, so you will make it wrong. Okay, so you yeah. say mitral regurgitation. Say it one more mitral, time. Mitral regurgitation. Okay, so <laughs> one more time. Mitral regurgitation. Regurgitation. Okay. Regurgitation. Okay. Regurgitation. Okay. Yeah. All right. So I hope that you get able to, you know, make a video and send it to Dr. Yeah. Dean, uh, Mr. Dean, so that he can. Let's move to another one. So we have a lot. So let's go quick this time. Uh, let me see. 36. Nguyễn Như Ngọc. Can you help me to pronounce that word and define okay. it? Arimitho, uh -huh. uh, arimio. Okay, look, uh, uh, not a, uh, so uh, with. Uh, a wrist, a wrist, me, me, ah. Ah, arismia. Okay. Uh, so, so the first and the last word pronounce the same, ah. Uh, you don't actually uh. say it ah, uh, but because it's not stressed, so. Arrhythmia. Uh, arrhythmia. Okay. Do you know what it means? Um, arrhythmia. Sorry, I don't know what it means. Oh, that's fine. That's fine. Okay. So um, you see, um, it's, it's a condition when the heart beating irregularly. Okay. When the heart beats irregularly. It can be too fast, it can be too slow, or it can be in different patterns, okay? All right. So it's mean roi loang nhịp. You're from... Good. Okay. Then we move to different type of arrhythmia down here. Uh, can I have 80, uh, well, let's see, um, maybe 61. I saw he have uh, some neck movement. <laughs> you ready? Uh, yeah. 61, yeah. Help yeah. us. Fibriation. Fibriation. Okay. Um, it's not, it's not, um, so fibrillation, because we, we connect two, not just like separate them. One more time. Fibriation. Fibrillation. Good. Fibrillation. Okay. Fibrillation. Mm -hmm. Do you know what it means? Uh, yeah, uh, mm -hmm. This means uh, uh, extremely serious as rich beer. Mm, okay, so it means room, like room. Okay, so so this this kind of rhythm can happen either um in the atrium or in ventricle. So let's say it's, if it's happen with the atrium, what would you call it? Uh, right, two words. Yeah. Was it the adjective of the atrium? Đúng nhỉ, cô. Đúng rồi. Yeah. So I said atrium. When we learned before the adjective, the adjective of the atrium in atrial, right? So rung nhỉ means atrial fibrillation. Okay? Atrial fibrillation, yes. Okay, how about try rung thất, like uh, ventricle? Fibrillation. Fibrillation. Um, okay. Yes. So, fi mm -hmm. so fibrillation here now, then you need an adjective before it to talk about 
the place where it happens. So now I want you to say, if it happened in the ventricle, so what would be the adjective for the ventricle? We talked about it before. Ven ven ventricle, okay. ventricle. Okay, ventricle. So we're gonna use ventricles in a noun and the adjective of it would be ventricular. So ventricular. Ventric Ventricular, uh -huh. fibrillation, fibrillation, ventricular. Okay, so ventricular fibrillation. Ventri ventricular fibrillation. Perfect, yeah. fantastic. Yeah. yeah, you can do it. So try atrial fibrillation and ventricular fibrillation. Okay, yes. good. All right, next we move on uh, with the next one. Someone, someone here, may I get 42, Nguyễn Thị Hồng, something I couldn't uh, see the whole thing. 42, can you help us? They have very nice hair. Okay, can you help us with that word? It's very short. Um, do you know how to pronounce it? Uh, I think this is uh, a flutter. Okay, it's not flute, but flood, okay? Flutter. 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 Okay. Yeah. Um, so do you know what it means? Um uh, <laughs> uh, sorry, I don't know. Okay. So the is have is have there um is also a an a arrhythmia that would have usually happen in the atria that be too rapidly. So it's mean very fast, rapidly. And it's usually um, regular. So let's see, I don't remember the, the Vietnamese name for it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. My Maya, which is like a blank. Uh, so atrial flutter. Okay. Okay, we, we move to another one more common, though young people like you guys, um, or even me, of who have this kind of arrhythmia, very common. Let me get to um, six Dao Minh Tung. Can you help us? Uh, yes. Uh, their premature atrial contraction uh, is mean uh, around themia in which the anterior contract early than the they should. Uh, I think it's mean uh, uh, when when the heart uh, okay, rhythm the heart rhythm is the begin the uh, faster or early early than than should. I think that. Mm, okay, uh, so you see, mature, mature is mean like we all grow up. It's mean trưởng uh, thành, like um. But premature is mean something like early, pre, because it mean it happened earlier. So it's always earlier. So instead of it's happened at the set, you know, at a certain time, now it come back, come to, it it comes a little bit earlier. So it call um, uh, but. Uh, so can you define it? Where does it happen? If it's PAC, where does it happen? Is it in ventricle or atria? Uh, sorry. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that's true. So it's basically you can just imagine the word contraction. It means it's squeezing. Um, the atrial contraction is mean the the atria it contracts earlier than it's supposed to, right? So it's mean why tâm thu nhỉ? Okay, good. So try the next one for me, please. You, uh, the one that just talked with me. Who's that person? Maybe 83, Nguyễn Quế Trân. Yes, the next one is uh, arterial bonus. Sclerosis. Mm -hmm. uh, that means when um, uh, mm. that means when your um, when your arteries become uh, thick and um, uh, it can contain uh, the fatty substances uh, like the plaques. So we okay. call servo động mạch. Okay. Good. I mean, I heard about a lot of words. I able to recognize it, but um, because of your pronunciation, it's just like a lot of us um, have that habit. Um, you describe, so let's try, break it down. Arterial, art, arterial, art, arterial, 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 
sclerosis. Mm -hmm. Sclerosis. Process. Okay. So arterial sclerosis. Okay. So it means um. So they break it down. Sclerosis mean hardening, yeah. and arterials mean artery. So you just simply define it as the hardening condition of the arteries. Okay. And the yeah. etiology, Thank it can you. be something else. Good. Yeah, um, and then when, then when you mentioned about the plaquettes, there's another word I want you guys to differentiate. It would be the, uh, the, the uh, Andine, can you move to the, the word next, next, that, that. Uh, yeah, that one. You see how, how similar they are? Like someone try that word for me, um, 58, me mm -hmm. yang fam. Can you uh, read something for read that word for me? Okay. Uh, can you unmute yourself, please? Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, this one, uh, mm -hmm. premature. No, 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 the, I'm sorry. The one that uh, Dr. Uh, Mr. Dean was uh, pointing at is start with an A, almost at the end. Okay, you see that? Okay, A T H. Okay. A A. Hmm. A T R O S K I R O S I S S K I R O S I S. Okay. Okay. Try to make it a K I R O S I S. Okay. F is not A, but A T R O A T R O S K R O S K L E R. Uh -huh. Atherosclerosis. Yeah, almost, almost. So atherosclerosis. Atherosclerosis. You forget the square, square. Okay. Sclerosis. Okay. Oh, good. Sclerosis. So, mm -hmm. so you guys look at the, the this word and the word that we just talked about, right? The other one is arterial. This uh, word is. Yeah, this word is arterial. Okay, arterial. So yeah. you see the um the the, the red word that they explain it to you. The arterial yeah. is mean what? Yeah, sub substance. Good, good. So um meanwhile the arterial is artery and sclerosis it means hardening. So the second word they meant the hardening. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Hardening. That caused by yeah that's caused by what it's caused mm -hmm. by fatty cis, uh, substance fatty or system. plaquettes right mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so cái từ ở trên có nghĩa là um, sơ cứng động mạch okay hornin yeah and so, cái từ ở dưới là sơ vữa động mạch okay yeah, sorry yeah. i'm not a doctor or uh, medical oh, no. okay so, no so, worries yeah, just keen to learn yeah no worries so that you can understand because uh, it's a little bit different a little bit tricky okay yeah All so right. sometimes uh, i need that can you give the um, exact meaning of this one okay so so yeah. i just so said good, yeah. okay so okay. one will be server so and then the other one is uh, so okay yeah thank you so much All right yeah let's go move to the word between those two um we'll start with an A too. Okay. This one is very common too. Um, can I try? I think I'll go back with number one, Bui Hung Ngap. Yes. Atheroma. Uh, say it faster a little bit. Atheroma. Ather? Atheroma. Okay. Athero yes. uh, atheroma. Okay. Yes. Uh, it mean what? What it's, does it mean? Um, a fatty substance in one of artery. Uh -huh. uh, yeah. So you see um, the Omar that I believe that you guys learned uh, earlier of the, this class is mean mass, right? Yes. Omar, like, um, you know, sarcoma or um, things like that. Um, Menginoma. So it's mean a mass, but the compo the compose um the component of this mass is um the fat uh, substance that why it called uh, atheral. Okay, 
So your atherol is mean a fasty, fat, fatty substance, okay? All right, and if we can move to the last word of this table. Uh, can I have uh, Macy 41, Nguyễn Thị Hoài Thu? Can you help us with this one? Okay. Uh, the last one is this van uh, thrombosis. Okay, deep vent thrombosis. Trom thrombosis. Okay, thrombosis. No. Okay, okay. No. Yeah. So it's, it's, we see that we learn a word here, thrombo. Okay, thrombo is mean a clot. Clot. Yeah, clot. Okay, okay. Is a clot in what? In what? Is it artery or vein? It's vein, right? Because it's deep vein. Okay. So cái từ này ở tiếng Việt có nghĩa là bị uh, thuyên tắc uh, tĩnh mạch sâu, phải không? Nhiều vein is it tĩnh mạch and then artery is it động mạch, deep vein. Good. Anyone have questions? So or we usually refer it like DVT for short uh, in uh, here. No, this one is very simple because we already know enzyme, we know arterial, we know renal, we know enzyme. like at the beginning. So they're gonna be five. I just need to hear you guys say it and we're gonna um, um, walk through the meaning very fast, okay? Can I have 77 Vũ Đình Chất? Can you help me with the first column? So we have one, two, three, four, five, six. Hello. Yes. Hi. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, the, the first one of uh, this table is mm -hmm. angiography. Okay. N-Z-O-O-Graphy. -O so we don't, we, yeah. Mm -hmm. You know where we stress? Uh, o. Yeah. So N-Z-O. Enzio and geography. And geography. Okay, good. So you know graphy means? Uh, the what does it mean? Uh, mm -hmm. The graphy means is uh, something like diagram or something like that. Uh huh. I say it here is a process of recording. So you're recording something, you're mm -hmm. taking picture of something, right? Yeah. So what does it mean by um, and geography? I think that uh, we record the the vessel, how it working? You cut, yeah, a kind of <clears throat> close, kind of like you you um have a picture, but in this one is a procedure. Um, in cardiology, in cardiology, this means is a procedure where they will inject uh, some contracts into your vein, and then it go back to the heart and or or and then it go to the arteries, and then you see you know um the blood vessels. Um, you know, lighting on the screen, just like an x-ray, that what we call yeah. by um, in the geography, okay? Yeah. <clears throat> uh, it's, it's almost the same. But graphics mean recording, but then you will see, <laughs> can you read the word with gram? The same thing, but when they use, N, N, okay, they use the different um, So uh, I think that, uh, that like the, take the picture. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, okay. So try. N, N, zero gram. So N, zero gram. N, zero gram. Okay, so this time you see the stress is different. The other one, N, N, geography. This one, N, zero gram. Okay, so it's different. Uh, the gram means just the picture. So let's say you take a picture and then it will be a gram, but graphy, it would be, um, it would be a, a video, like in live, you know, real, real time, okay? And then the next word, arterial. Mm -hmm. The word, the second word. Can you try it? Um, 77, are you still with me? You're not done yet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, the second. Uh -huh. at, at, arteriography. Good, good. Arterial, again, is when you see the all of Oh, graphy, you uh, stress at the all. So, so uh, arterial, arteriography, okay? Arteriography. Yeah, so now they just talk more about, more specific is about art, uh, arteries instead of um, the, the, the blood vessel itself. Because when you said enzyme, it just, it can be veins, it can be arteries, but when they said arteriography, it means arteries, all right? 
Try the last one. The last one is venogram. Okay. Try again. You see where is the capitalize or the stress e? Venogram. Okay. V. 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 Venogram. Uh, venogram. Yeah. No, not no, but no. So we know gram. No gram. Okay, good. So we learned about it before. We know is mean it mean what? Uh it means vessel. It means no, uh, no. Uh it means uh, uh, thick mic. Okay, it start with V. So very easy. I remember I told you the uh, uh flebo. Uh no, it's vein, right? It means vein. So yeah. venogram, uh, venogram is the, the, the picture of the vein. Okay, uh, good. So again, um, remember we talk about NGO or um, uh, NGO is mean um, blood vessel or the blood vessel, arterial artery, and uh, veno is a uh, um, veins. Good. Okay, let's move to the second one. Let me pick someone. He will very. I haven't heard anyone here. I haven't called now. Okay, 40, let's see. Okay, 25, Lê Thị Nhung, huh? Okay, can you help us? I, I think I'm here. Yeah. Okay. Uh, electrocardiography. Okay. The electrocardiography. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What does it mean? Uh, mm -hmm. Electro stand, uh, stand for electricity, cardiology uh, stand for heart, and graphy or uh, prostate uh, pre-cutting. This uh, uh this was its main process of pre cutting about electric heart. Mm. So is um so it so we know that orography is mean a process of recording. So it mean you recording something in real time, right? It keep it keep happening and you you filming it, right? So then um, cardio is mean heart, and then now we learn another word electro. So um. Electro, electrocardiography, okay, electrocardiography. So sometimes we say just the ECG for short, right? Yes. Okay. Yeah, so they do, but when they mention graphics, it mean it's talk about an action that, or a, a procedure, but that procedure will produce an image or a photo that will be called Instead of graphy, would be gram, right? Gram, so, it's a picture. Mm -hmm. yeah. it's mm -hmm. So let's say you use a sentence. Um, this patient is underwent. Uh, this patient is. Um, uh, this patient is undergoing, uh, electrocardiography. Uh, it means that's a procedure. Okay, so this means they go to a room, the nurse gonna hook them up on some the electrodes, and then they measure in it. And then um, that show a result called electrocardiogram. Good. So that would be electrocardiogram. Okay. Good, good, perfect. Thank you for explaining it in Vietnamese. Okay. So good. And then the same thing with the next one. Can you do the next one for me too? Quick. Electrocardiography. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. Uh, about heart, of heart. Mm -hmm. Good. So, so we pay attention when you talk about procedure or uh, orography, and then it, again we stress at the O. But when you talk about the picture or the result, is is stress at the car. So, um, you know, echocardiogram, echocardiogram. Mm -hmm. But the other one is echocardio cardiography okay echocardiography cardiography and okay good good that's very very good so that's the images um so the last one is is not common or not it's very common i'm sorry but it's another type of echocardiography so can you say this word uh chance chance the uh is so fragile Okay, uh, this is a little bit hard. Just try it slow. Trans, transus, transus, Sophie. So fat, so fatier. Trans. G, G, G O. So fatier, G O. Okay, okay. Transfer, sir. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. 
Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Good, good. You're doing better. So just try the first four one and then the other one. So transfer, 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 and geo, transfer, geo. Okay. Just the first year. Okay. Mm -hmm. Do you know what it means? Uh, the, uh, the, this procedure, uh, uh, um, visual examination, uh, which uh, has through, uh, through esophagus. esophagus. Okay. Okay. So the word by itself is mean, you know, uh, belonging to is an adjective. So it's mean uh, is need a noun. So you would see it stands by him by itself. So because it's geo, um, it yeah. means something like you said, it go through the esophagus. So that's why the trends mean uh, come across, right? Then, then you fire now here, there's a procedure that you need to go through, uh, through the esophagus to see the heart that it called. Mm -hmm. Can you combine those two words for me? Mm -hmm. Uh, chance, chance, uh, chance is crossed and it's so bigger, it's so bigger. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. So if I say transfer, transfer geo, echocardiography. Okay. Có nghĩa là siêu âm qua thực quản. Okay. Or in, in, um, in America, they usually use a TEE instead of, you know, trans thoracic, um, um, echocardiography. Okay, good. Okay, last group of the words. I promise this is last. Uh, okay, let me see. Someone still here and look like not so sleepy. I have 29. My name and I haven't called you yet. Can you help us with the first word on the last column? The third one, the first word. No. Okay, good, good. Um, do you know what it means? Can you explain it to her? It just means the condition. Of, uh -huh. um, okay, this is a little bit hard, okay? So we know cardio is it belong to the heart. So it has to be something to do with the heart. And the, the version, the version itself uh, is a now, is actually an action when you convert is actually is convert uh, or revert something. So cardiovert, uh, or it, the, the verb of it would be cardiovert, okay? Um, and the cardioversion is the now. Um, this one usually is hard to explain to you guys, but if, if the patient who came in with um, atrial fibrillation, when the, when the atrial is just, you know, beating irregularly and so fast and patient become unstable, they can do this to convert that kind of arrhythmia become normal rhythm that what they that procedure called cardioversion okay or like chuyển nhịp tim hoặc là i don't know what the other words in vietnamese um yeah but here we call cardiovert okay and the next one is more common for you guys but we know the other the second part of the word already let's try lemon tim can you help us again thanks for still being with us Uh, can you unmute yourself, please? Yes. Uh, I think, uh, can uh, we uh, continue to the pacemaker implantation? Or... No, the word up, the word above it. Oh, sorry, sorry. Um, no, no, no worry. Um, defu mm, defibr defibrillator. Okay. Defibrillator. Right. Defib. Defibrillator, okay. Defibrillator, okay. So anything. So can you um base on the green, the blue words and try to explain it to us, in yes, short. I think the defibrillator is um uh -huh. is a machine that um uh, reset the heartbeat to um normal. <laughs> Yeah. Mm, that's good. That's good. But uh, you see here, um, fibrin is mean. Um, normally it talk about is about the the nerve or um, that what I said. Um, but it's different one. So so you 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 write about the, because um the word that with the n o r is mean a person or something, right? So it's a device. D is mean just like you know make it 
um, disappear, just like uh, dehydrate, uh, what well, is not disappear, dehydration is different. Okay, um, the, another word then, but it's mean that you convert or um, you make the fibrillation goes away, okay? We mentioned about um, ventricle, ventricular, ventricular fibrillation, that the condition when we need defibrillator um, to, you know, to make it become normal, okay? Yes. All right, so the next one is very common, um, is uh, the one that we usually call it ICD, but no, I don't, uh, not, not many people will, will realize what does it stand for. Uh, can it have 75 to reclaim? Um, can you help us? Hello? Mm. Okay, maybe I move to the next one then. Uh, um, 15, Hoang Thị Ngọc Anh. The uh, ICD that mean implantable cardioverter defibrillator. Okay, try it slow. Um, the first word, is, how does it pronounce? How is it pronounced? Implantable. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. The second okay. word is a uh, cardio. Okay, good. So we have cart cardio And the and last word is the if mm -hmm. yeah mm -hmm. cart good. defibrillator. Okay, so this is also a defibrillator that we discussed before. It just to make the the fibrillation goes away. Um, but in this time is implant. You guys what in knows what implant mean? Implant is mean it was placed inside some tissue, some organ. It's deep inside. So this kind of device is not outside of the heart, but inside of the heart. Okay. So nó gọi là máy khử rung. Ah, uh, nhưng mà được cái người ta gọi là có nhiều cái loại. Này. There's a different type of defibrillator. It can be percutaneous, like um, under skin. Um, or you can wear it, or that's what they call a wearable defibrillator. Or this one is implantable, it means you can have to put it inside the heart. Okay. So the procedure to put that in call. Um, so pacemaker, pacemaker, I'm sorry if I said it already. So pacemaker is different from defibrillator. Okay. And I will explain it later. But we already talked about implant. So the, the now of it would be implantation. It means you put something in, right? So um, it means, and then pacemaker is a device try to set the rhythm become like a normal rhythm. It the same, uh, it's not so the same, but it's a little bit in depth. I don't want to um, confuse you guys with that, but try to know it's pronounced different. It's also a little bit different in meaning, okay? Nhưng mà defibrillator mình có thể dịch ra là khử rung, and then pacemaker is là máy tạo nhịp, okay? The mechanism is a little bit um, close, okay? Um, so we can do the last three one, uh, which I promise is the last three. Uh, which is easy. Uh, can I have Trần Hồng Nguyên again? See, I see my name there. Okay. Artery O'Ram. Artery O'Ram. Uh, uh, no, no, no. The one that on the on the right side. So the one that uh, Dr. Amit Dean is pointing at. You see that word? Okay. Try. Uh, okay, good. So Arthur. we emphasize. Yeah. Good, perfect. So do you know what it means? You know, actomy means, right? I don't know. Okay. Uh, the, the blue word said that it means surgical removal, right? So you, you remove something, and we know that arthro is fatty substance. It means you just treat the artery that fill with fat, fatty substance. You remove it out. So attract to me. Okay. And the next one is also super common. It does, uh, is CABG, which stands for Someone help me out, please. Uh, then I see 53. I haven't heard from you. Can you help us? Uh, thanks for still being here. 
the artery bypass graft. Okay, try one more uh, time. Co coronary artery bypass graft. Okay, not nerve, but near. Nary, okay. Look at the look at the the um how they they teach you to pronounce it. Uh, okay. Cool. Okay, I get okay. It. okay. Try one. one Coronary artery bypass graft. Okay, so coronary co coronary artery bypass coronary graft. Coronary okay. artery bypass graft. Okay, good graft. They have FT, so craft. Craft. Okay, good. Do you know what that uh, procedure? Do you know what then that procedure is? Uh, 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 this is this is a hard one for me. I don't understand. Okay. I don't understand okay. that word. Okay. Um, correct me, I'm wrong because I haven't used it like in Vietnam before a long time. But nhưng mà phẫu thuật này là phẫu thuật like bypass cái cầu nối, no? Nối and graft is they use something like um, what we call. Nhưng mà phẫu thuật này là liên quan tới coronary artery, là mạch vành. So phẫu thuật uh, phẫu thuật cầu nối mạch vành. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Buckle <laughs> mạch vành. Yeah. Buckle. That's your word. Let's see. Uh, that means that I need some coffee now. Okay. All right. So that's CABG. Um, that's oh, all cabbage. We, we Here we call it cabbage. Um, okay. And the last one that seemed to be uh, similar to the one that we learned earlier. Can you someone help me? Uh, let me see. Everyone left. Let's see. Mm. Oh, maybe Nguyễn Quế Trân, 83. Are you there? Are you able to uh, unmute? Maybe not. Okay. Uh, Phạm Thị Vân Anh then. Uh, chị có thể giúp không? Mm -hmm. It's the uh, embolectomy. Good. Good. Embolectomy. Yeah, you pay attention to it. So you know what that procedure is? No, it's the uh, ectomy means uh, surgical re removal. And okay. Uh -huh. Embol mean black, so that mean the surgery mm -hmm. to uh, remove mm -hmm. black. Mm -hmm. So there's different. Uh, so the, very good. So um, there's a one word that we uh, haven't learned that emboli or um embolide um is different from the thrombo that we uh, we we uh, we mentioned about thrombo before. So your homework will be go home and then look the, up to, for those two words thrombi, emboli, thrombus and embolus. Okay. Uh, someone write it down so that uh, the group can can uh, remember it. So that would be uh, the last uh, words that I want you guys to know. I know I'm really sorry that's a lot, but it's not all. Um, but those are very common um, terminology that you be you will see in textbook, in newspaper or journal, or you know, doctors, um, foreign doctor when they talk about it. Um, there's a little bit quiz um, at the end. Um, you guys can you know uh, feel free to team up with anyone that you know and um, try to uh, play with it. Um, just try to reinforce what you have. Um, but that's all I have for you guys. I'm really sorry that at the beginning, um, I mentioned that we can discuss a mini case, but I don't want to hold you guys any longer. It's a Saturday, you guys should go out um, on a beautiful day. But um, hopefully, if uh, uh, some of you go up to the next level and I have opportunity to go back, then we can do that, okay? You know, you know, uh, sorry, class, I would like to spend with you few minutes because I would try to round up some pronunciation that most of you maybe don't do well, just four words only. So repeat after me. Yeah? First one is heart. It's not hurt. A lot mm -hmm. of people pronounce hurt. It's hurt is to make the pain. Hmm? So heart, ah, 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 heart, number one. So now, all the class, heart. Heart, 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 heart. Okay, heart. don't hurt, yeah? 
Number two, muscle, not muscle. 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 Pressure. 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 Not pressure. 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 Okay. But material. The same, huh? The same. But one is pressure. The other one is material. The other one is okay. Material. Okay, everyone. Material. Material. <laughs> okay, that's okay. <laughs> so try to try to pronounce correctly for word that works. Okay, thank you so much, uh, Dr. Nguyen. Okay, yeah, yeah. my pleasure. Yeah, <laughs> yes, right. yeah. <laughs> okay, thank you so much, you guys, for your time. Uh, thanks for joining us today. Hope you guys enjoy the lessons and hope you guys um, find it help helpful and use it in your daily practice. Um, is illicit everything about practice. Uh, you talk, you say it more often, feel comfortable, play with the world, and then, then uh, it will get better. Okay, until next time, uh, stay safe and uh, stay happy. Okay, thank you so much, Dr. Nguyen, and have uh, thank a you, Andy. nice day for everybody. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, thank you, teacher.